Tara. Stop. Stride on your feet. Well, hang on. Oh. Right, first little joiner. This is like your little pony. Oh, this is funny. Okay, now we're in Kent. Now we're in Kent. Second horse, second day. So that last one went well, didn't it? I'm pleased with that. And this one, uh, her name's Michelle, am I correct? Yeah. Michelle. Um, can't actually remember exactly what the behaviour issues were with this one. Can you remember? I think, she, I think he, the, the pony, she's got um, like, a, like a, a residential home. Yeah. And I think they like to pet on the pony, but he's been a bit bolshy lately and, you know, just... Oh, that's up. right. We had the video. Yes. And he, he runs off with her up the road. That's, that's right. That's all right. Yeah, we get one that one then. That's What's that there? That is an Indian oh, dining. Oh, Tanya. Oh, look at that old oh. carriage. Oh. <laughs> Are we far from? No, we're having a meal in the hotel tonight. Oh, I fancy an Indian. We'll have one tomorrow night then. Yeah. Just pulled up, we found it. We see the horse down there. Yeah. There's a little pen been made for me, look. <laughs> There's some seats there already. <laughs> look, some seats there already. Oh, that's funny. Little pen, fair yeah. play to him. Yeah, and I think that's probably Michelle over there. <laughs> <laughs> where does she want us to park? Michelle, where do you want us to park? All right, okay, back up and just park in here. Hi guys, another video. I've just, just made this video now. And honestly, this is one of the funniest, hilarious videos I've ever made. But there's a mixture of a little bit of seriousness with it as well. And, you know, loads of learning. I mean, I watched it back and I was learning myself. <laughs> But it is a great video, and like I say, it's so funny, uplifting. It's got it all in it, all right? Now, I just want to go through a few things before I start the video, which is really important to me. Now, Michelle, fair play to Michelle, um, the horse's owner. She has allowed me to put this on um, and fully admits that a lot of the problems are because of what she hasn't done uh, in the last couple of years. Now, there's reasons for it. And she fully admits that, you know, she'll even admit in the video, she's an annoyance, she's a nuisance to the horse and whatever. But just need to very briefly say wh why, uh, what is happening is happening. Now, uh, Michelle um, purchased this little, little fella. It's four now. I think it was a wheeling stage. Uh, she got him new to horses. She read a lot. She did lots and lots of work with him and things were going great. She built up a, uh, she desensitized uh, the, the little man, got pretty much bomb proof with everything. She was doing a great job with it. A, she used to take, she runs a home, okay? There's 75 residents in the home and she thought it was a great idea for therapy to help, help people living in the home, the older people, to take this little, give him a job to do and take him into the home through the, into the foyer, into the lobby, and let uh, the, the residents come in and pet pet him. And at two years of age, he became bomb-proof, used to take him in, full of respect for her, and they used to come down, and they used to love, it was a highlight for as a therapy for, for the residents to come and pet him, and 
it, oh, just, it was a wonderful story. And then the world changed. COVID hit and basically for two years, Michelle has been uh, very stressed out. Had to, um, it wasn't very kind to the home, uh, the virus, and uh, spent a lot of time worrying, changing um, people to different floor levels to, to, to try and isolate. It was just, she, she hasn't stopped, okay? So obviously, um, Fudge, Fudge's name is Fudge, uh, went on the back burner. As long as he was kept uh, in, in feed, grass, water, it just went on the back burner. It was not a priority anymore. So basically for two years, very much the learning years again, two till four, nothing was done. Uh, it was all, all overlooked. So that's why we've got quite an out of control little. I think there was other people who got involved and, and looked after him as well. Maybe lots of treating. It just, it just all, all went downhill. And suddenly now, um, she, she, you know, she's got more time now. People are asking to to see the horse again. Everything's settling down, and Fudge isn't the Fudge she knew anymore. So Michelle has tried really hard, but not enough experience at the at the stage this little fella's at now. Knowing his strength, and kind of everything has gone wayward now. There is the little danger element there as well. There's no gates to the roads. It's public. You can't close it off. So he'll just run. And it, he's learnt. He does his thing now. When it suits him, he just does whatever he wants to do. And he's learnt that's the thing to do because he can. So that's why I've been called in. Um, you know, I, I, I beg of you not to make any um, negative comments. I, I won't put up with it. I just won't, you know, because a lot of people will learn from this video. And Michelle is a wonderful, wonderful person. She had us in stitches all the way through. She, she, it's so funny. So I just wanted to say that. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll prop up now and again just to explain a few things. And I really hope you enjoy it because uh, I, I, I just enjoyed making this. What's it like for taking up there? Go up there, <laughs> but he'll run up there. You've probably seen the videos where he just dragged me up there because... Hello. Where did he drag you to? <laughs> Hello. 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 Yeah. Have you got a moustache? Yeah, yeah, Have you got a moustache? Eh? Yeah. Hey? <laughs> 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 so he's wants to get to the sweet shop and... So in the pen he just eats? Yep. Yeah. He might, I've only just put the pen up because I knew you guys were coming right, okay. and I just wanted somewhere to so go. So this here. is the culprit. What's his name? Fudge. 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 So Fudge, um, Michelle hasn't really had a lot of time to do much with Fudge. Okay. He doesn't respect people enough. He won't bite them. No. But mm, just, you, it but he'll just barge through you. I'm a nuisance to him. Yeah. <laughs> that's good that I didn't. Before. That's you good that I didn't have to tell you that. No, 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 he is in. I think he's right. a bit into pressure. Yeah. Because every time he comes Do you know that's quite hard to sort out yeah. because he's convinced he should push on you if you yeah. try to say no. I think now I don't know if you noticed there. Michelle said she's pretty sure he's become an into pressure horse. Now into pressure horses. Just so you all know, I think a lot of people will know. Um, it's kind of a learnt behaviour. And if you put pressure on a horse to, to do something, they'd rather than give to the pressure, they learn. If they go to the pressure, then they get the release that way. Uh, and I know a lot of horsemen that have, um, I, I, I've been to a lot of clinics in America years ago and witnessed some into pressure horses. And it's very, very di hard to deal with them because they are convinced the more you put pressure on to get a horse away from you, if they're in your space or gonna knock you down or whatever, the more pressure you put on to try and own your little bit of space, the more the horse is convinced it should should go into the pressure rather than away from it. And, you know, I, I remember, certainly there was a, a Monty Roberts demonstration many years ago, <clears throat> and he came um, across an inter-pressure horse and he had real trouble. He had to abandon ship really with it. It was, um, yeah, very much into pressure and he was quite old then. But they are, they are, uh, you know, it's a learned behaviour and sometimes it's bad timing. 
and uh, you know it just happens but changing an into pressure horse that's the difficult one you know so uh, i just wanted you to know what that meant into pressure i got a trainer to come out yes and help me she said use that showed me how to use it for about yeah. an hour and then and was gone and that was gone uh, right now then okay taking him up here tanya yep to the pen yep michelle's quite worried because he'll run up there yep and there's a main road look oh yeah Yeah. So, if he would just drag you out there, wouldn't he, yeah. if he needed to be? Yeah. Is there so, a gate you could close? No. no. Oh. So, the first thing to do, I think you're right what you've done putting a pen there for me because I can do something in there. Mm -hmm. It's a pity there's grass on, on it because he'll be. But if I can move him around in there and try and hold to break him a little bit differently, get a little re bit of respect from him, yeah. hopefully it might help a little bit. Then my idea would be to come out. Transfer the respect from there into uh, out here, yeah. which will be another little saga, and then I would hope that I could lead him yeah. up and down. Hopefully. Yeah. When he was young, I used to go to take him into see the residence. He's gone into the car oh. and you're going on. He was bulletproof, absolutely fine. But now he's just too bulky to. So you can't home. safely take him to the home, but they'd love to see him over they'd there. Love to see him. Right. Really so love they're to home, see him. Tanya. Yeah. A bit like therapy. Yeah. yeah. We'd like to see him. Yeah. Okay. So that's it. We're on our way up the road to the pen that's been built. And this is where it gets a little bit serious now, just for a minute. Now I knew from the footage I'd seen and talking to Michelle, how potentially dangerous and a disaster in waiting was around the corner. Because there's, there's a main road and there's a school not far away, so kids are coming along in cars, all sorts is happening. And, you know, Michelle knows this. She, she got me there as a last ditch attempt to try and give her some advice, help her, or tell her what maybe she doesn't want to know. Uh, doesn't want to be told, but should be told. Um, and so I, I'm about to, to lead, lead the horse up there and all hell breaks loose. I hadn't had enough time to get any proper control sorted out. I knew it was important I didn't lose the horse off me, could run anywhere up there on my watch, on my watch, it couldn't happen. So we went through quite a breakdown there and then. It was quite difficult for me, but that there was a, the, what you see now produces a massive change from a breakdown, but it was so important. It's quite comical at times uh, and quite stressy at times, but yeah, you have a look. I mean, it went on for quite a long time and the video can't be too long. So some bits Tanya captured, some bits she didn't. And um, we've got as much in there as I can. You see the major bits where I'm not resting for a while. Uh, but yeah, I've got to get him up there and he can't get away from me. So you should just get in the way, having his own way, going and eating a bit of grass and going back to his, uh, to his buddies down the bottom. So you can imagine, can't you? I mean, you know, I'm a biggish fella. Uh, and that's quite a smallish horse, but still outstrengths me. <laughs> I don't know how many times, but yeah, have a have a look at this. This is very very interesting. Well, hang on. Oh, hang on. He tries to get into the. He tries to get into the brambles. That's what he'll do with me. <laughs> you were right. <laughs> I don't like the round pen. I don't like this. I'm going down to the That's it. I've had enough of this now.
massive for him. Yeah. Massive. But that is going to, what's going to change is hey, he was convinced, wasn't he? Yeah. Every emotion there, didn't it? Yeah. And everybody was looking. <laughs> no. <laughs> Thinking, what's that man doing with that flag? Everything that I'm convinced is right because when I come out of here, I go down to my friends. That was amazing. That's a good little pen. Yeah. Yeah. That's all right, isn't it? You've had an audience. No, I'm not such a so we're in the pen, all ready to start to do some meaningful groundwork hopefully get get to Fudge's feet and stop the lock jaw in and pulling off to get some bend in his rib cage if I can. So that was so important that that breakdown that I had to break through because it would have been uh, pretty much game over if, if it run me all the way back down. So, you know, that in, in some ways I was really glad that happened uh, as long as I came out the other end of the storm, uh, which I did. Now there is some the real life on the on, on location wherever I go, so there is some road noise. It's near the road, um, not too much wind noise. I don't think on this one, uh, so apologise for that. Can't be helped, you know. Um, so. <laughs> Hang on, I'm just coming over because I can't hear you. Hang on, shut, shut my gate. He's tread on, treads on the feet. Right. right okay. But I am noticing what he's doing. He's coming, he's coming in on you, isn't he, yeah? But you're, what's happening is, you don't see it, you're moving a bit, even the slightest bit, he's got a, you're, you've got to have a ring yeah, 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 yeah. around you and he can't come in there unless you invite him in, all right? Mm -hmm. So that's the first thing I'll, I'll, I'll say. If you walk him around then and let's just see. So, that's what he does, he, yeah. he and locks then he'll you out. And he just stood on your feet. And he just stood on your feet. All right. Stop. I'm gonna... See? Stride on your feet. See what he's doing, Tom? Yeah. So, you know I'm gonna have to firm up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But so. he's, he's used to the flag. The only way that I can get him to back off when I'm trying to put food in the field is to use a, a, a bag at the moment and shake it. And he's used to it. Yeah. I will not allow him. To walk through me, okay. So I'll, <laughs> I'll get used to. Won't hurt him, and I need, no, no, no. I need him to consider me. Yeah. So when he starts considering me, I'm going to start to move. Yeah. Okay. So you can consider him. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
from the lead rope a bit like there until he's with me. Alright? <laughs> until he's with me there. Okay? Because what's happening is he's seeing something like the grass or, and he's just going, isn't he? Yeah. So we try and keep him with us a little bit. So I'm just gonna adjust this a little bit. That's quite a busy road, isn't it? Yeah, and that's the thing. But it's also good for him because he'll get quite desensitised. He to is, it. he's desensitised to a lot of things. Yeah, well. yeah. Like okay. Yeah. So I'll up forward again, alright? Yeah. But I'm not looking at him. So now there. He's it's that's good this really it's good this is happening for you because I'm moving into the back. Okay. No, he's quite Right? <laughs> uh, see how I'm setting down? Yeah. It's like the more he does go, the better, because I can set him down a bit. Right? So if we look at the go for him, then I'll yeah. disengage him. Right? Now you want to come this way or that way? I'm just going to let them know there's something in it. So the firming up yeah. is pretty much done. Now I got firm, I didn't hurt him. Yeah. Okay. All that's happening here is you weren't quite effective enough. Okay. So now I'll tell him, I'm not mad at him. He's just, my space is my space. Okay. I'd just like to quickly say I am firming up. What firming up means is when you really, really firm up with the lead rope to get the change in the feet that you need. Now, this is one occasion where I really, really could have done with, an, with my saddle horse like Nita uh, and obviously the people I trained with in America and, uh, uh, and are my peers, they usually have a horse with them. And if I've been to many clinics when you've got an interpressure horse like, like Fudge, and really a man's strength it, it, sometimes it's just not good enough and it was i was just very lucky that my timing was quite good on some of those pullbacks from me and i managed to kind of get to his mind that the end of the lead rope does mean the end of the lead rope which he he completely ignored the lead rope end for so long now that meant nothing to him so with a horse it would be much much better because then i could dally on and then he'd have to listen to it you know, it's a, it's a real help, but to get those, this change that's coming in him, to get the change, you've got to be experienced. It's no good trying this, this if you haven't done hundreds and hundreds of horses with those sort of problems, because you, you can make it worse. So if you've got a problem as bad as fudge, then get help, get someone to help you. It, it, it really is the, the best option. So that's my that's what I call firming up, where I where I use strength, timing, to to make a change, and it's so important because if I don't make a change in the short time I'm there, it's an accident waiting to happen. You could you know, and that was on my mind all the time. Easier. The more I get into backup, oh my life! <laughs> what a good. Little bit. <laughs> Have you seen them pick up and. Um, well, he's not walking off yet, is he? Wait. Now there I'm saying, while I've got the lead rope, we won't be eating. When I let him off, he can maybe have a little bit less I'm asking him to move around. So, tell him how good he is. See if he'll follow the lead. Now I've got my stop. I've got my hand open, look. So I'm not pulling too much on him, but I will pull if I need to. So hand open. Right, so every time he does it, I'm going to pull him around. He's locking his jaw. He's locking his jaw. I can't get him to move on as well. Like when, like... She can't get him to, like... to move. Yeah. Mm. 
Yeah, well, well, we'll address some of this now. First thing I'm trying to do is get that thought of lock jaw in. Yeah, yeah. Now he followed nicely there. Yeah. So what are these little bits where he says no and get got to work through them? Mm -hmm. You know? There, nice. <laughs> nice. That's worked out for him very well in the past. Yeah. <laughs> hey, got that yeah. down to a T. Right, now. I'm doing quite a bit this way, I'll do the other way in a minute. You'd have never have done this with him, that mate, because he's worked with strength Yeah. That's why I was contacting you guys. I was like, please. Help. <laughs> That's why I was contacting you guys because yeah. I was like, I just know. We've had three laps without him lock jawing. Please with that. I want him to do it a couple of more times just to just to show him that there's an end to this. He knows there's no end to this, see? Stop. We'll see on this side whether he locks jaws on you this side. He always seems to want to do it the other way, doesn't he? Get this done first, it's leading. <coughs> Stop. Lovely. Just give better weather. Just <laughs> give better weather for is it three o'clock. Oh yeah, the sun comes out at three o'clock. Is it? Mm. Yeah. Oh well. So, are you noticing any improvement? Yes. Yeah, yeah. You are. Right. Oh, stop. Back up. Mm -hmm. Yes. So the more he'll back up, yeah. uh -oh. the more he'll his face. This is the not good. The more he'll settle with you. Hind quarter yield. Yeah. Have you ever practiced that one? Yeah. Where are you? Yeah, yeah. Just send the hind quarters over. Yeah. So did you see him cross right over? I took his. Because by taking the back end like that, mm -hmm. it, it kind of gets them less that they'll straighten up and go. Because he knows how to go. Yeah. Okay. So we get them softer in the rib cage. There. There. 
See? I'll work on that a little bit. That was quite nice actually. He's starting to come now. I just had to break a cycle for him. You know? So if I look at those hindquarters, send them over, and as soon as he takes them over for me, stop. How old is he, Michelle? Four. You've got a cracker here, you just didn't know it. Right, <laughs> <laughs> huh? like this side then. No, he did it. I've released myself. Yeah, yeah. Stop. So what, when I ask for the hindquarters, I lift the rope a little bit. Look at what I want to move. He's wondering Hang what on. that noise is there. And that's quite respectful. Right, so I look at it. He's coming, isn't he? He's not fit. I'm on an open hand now. How many times has he done that with you? When he locks his door and goes. All the time. All the time. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> when he wants to go, he just goes. Goes. Yeah. So I'm just bumping on, I'm waving and then bumping yeah. until he. So I, I do this first and then see whether he'll go, which he did, mm -hmm. so I didn't have to bump. Alright, and give him a little break in between each thing he does as well. So how far do you think we got with that then? Quite yeah, a lot better than... Yeah, yeah, so we've got, what I've done there, we, I've got a bit of respect now of space. Yeah. When I stop, I'm not doing that really, I'm, I'm just looking back at his feet. So I've got respect of stop, I've got respect of backup away from me. Okay. Oh, he's licking and chewing now. I've got, <laughs> got his attention by just do you see how I when he looks over there I just get him back with me okay because he seems so preoccupied so I've got that I've got hind quarters by walking towards them look I lift this there's that hind quarter that side and I've got hind quarter that side so we retreat quite a bit in the time so he's quite a switched on little horse, to be honest. Okay. Now you're saying you can't drive him around here. No. What does he do? He just do what he can do. Try and turn the other way, or he'll fight into me. In here, what with, without something on, you mean? Or to leave the? Or you mean with the lead rope? With the lead rope. Right, with, with the lead rope. He's so, supposed to eat. Because what, what I'm going to try and do now get feet forward from him, which is the start of a lunge. Because yeah. you're saying you'd like to be able to lunge him a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, so I'm being effective. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna ask first. No, he's gone, okay? So <laughs> I'll let him know. Stop. So I'm gonna ask him first and cluck. Mm -hmm. Now all I did then was, the only thing that really touched him was the flag bit. Yeah. But you probably haven't been enough effective you ask first, then you, you know, yeah. yeah. So I'm going to ask and cluck. Oh. <laughs> beautiful. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Disengage. Just quick for a second, right? That was quite a nice little lunge around me. Although it's only a walk to start, but you don't go trotting and cantering them until you've got a nice walk with a nice expression. Yeah. So. That's really good. So I'm going to ask again. Look, look. I'm looking at the feet. No, I had what? So I didn't have to go as far as using the flag, other than lifting it. This making sense. Yeah, yeah. You'll see this on video, Michelle, and it will make more sense with your own horse. So I'm going to look at his feet. Yeah. Look, look, and he's gone. Look. He's 
done. You hold the lead this this side and then this flag wraps Ask again. So you the lead this side and the flag. Yeah, so if I was gonna go this way, now I haven't done this eye yet. Yeah. So it might be a little bit different. I might have to flap it a bit more. But I'm gonna that means now when I do that I've asked when it's here it doesn't mean much. Mm -hmm. That's neutral. Yeah. Then I'm gonna ask, look at his feet, click, click, and I'm gonna do this until I get a forward step. Yeah. So, by backing up wasn't the answer for him. Don't, don't pass me. Okay. Right, so I'm going to ask again. Yeah. No. So because I'm affected with him, he thinks he's London now. He thinks he's London. He's your little pony. Jeez. Is it not? in a bit. Right. Okay, now go this way. Now if he keeps going, you just use your pen. Because I've just okay. gone up to the pen so he can't go past. Alright? Yeah. So again, if he keeps going, he goes to the pen. <laughs> he has to stop then, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> He's got a bit more stripey yeah. in his step now, hasn't he? Huh? Yeah. What happens to that little slow plodder just now? Well, I'm having a good old time. Yeah, I'm alright now. <laughs> so I'm getting feet forward now. Lovely. This thing. Now he tried his little thing there. Yeah. Don't want that. He was like, let's see if that works. Yeah, that's it. It's important we work through these little. Yeah. Disengaging, it is softening everything about him so that the locking will be a lot less. You with me? The locking, it's called locking, locking the jaw, straightening as an arrow. You've got no, the whole frame is straight, you've got nothing. So that's the difference. I can come in to his space, yeah, and tell him, you know, oh, there's a difference me coming into his space and him pushing into mine. Mm -hmm. You agree with that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the difference. So. you around. No. Maybe 
you want me to see whether I can join up with them a little bit? I need to go outside for this then, yeah. do I? Okay. Can help some little ponies. And he's not being naughty, I don't think. No. This is what he's done, isn't it? Yeah. And, and it's worked, him pulling you, yeah. it's worked out for him quite well, <laughs> hasn't it? Think about what I've said. That's worked out for him, hasn't it? Yeah. He gets the drop on you and that's pretty much what happens. not an easy thing to fix that's why you've got to do something a bit different like what I'm doing really yeah and understand about rib cages and about uh, hind quarters <laughs> yeah, I'm going to move him around yeah any faces needing two eyes yeah I'm going to quit a little bit <laughs> he's chewing now when, when he looks away from me Put pressure on. Okay, so I don't care. Because I've only got one eye. One eye, and he's going to run. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do. <laughs> Oh, there's sticks in there. Mm -hmm. right, wash your hand if you're going to grab it. it. Yeah, just pull it out from there. Just in case, that's it. <clears throat> that's it. He's got it. He's getting it. <laughs> oh. Was he when you had him? Not from a foul. Oh. That's good now because I can reinforce. I can reinforce that now. No good there, buddy. <laughs> Oh, were they? Ah, oh. so you bred him then? No, the people that had, they had water here already. Yeah. And so when I realised that there was a little, a little boulder she was on, I just put a note on the gate. Oh. So I was interested. Oh. Okay, so. So we're starting to want to 
face, mate. <laughs> right, first little join up. Yeah. You see that where he just followed me a little bit? Right. <laughs> he wants to follow, but he's tempted by the grass. Yeah. Nice to see, isn't it? Yeah. Stallions and lead mares do. They'll drive the herd yeah. and then make the herd follow. So if one goes off out the herd, a youngster, the stallion or mare will chase it around out there. And then when that, then what they do, they'll follow them back then because when they stop running and, and they look at them, they back off. So come on, else they'll chase them around. So that's what that is. Yeah. I'm driving him and making him follow because it's a better path. But now we got it. You ever seen that done before? No. <laughs> now I know I call, called that, that I was doing there, join up. There's other names for it. You know, most in my field call it hooking on. So you hook onto a horse and hook, it's like getting a hook on them and they, you draw them in and they follow you around. Um, great exercise for horses that's hard to catch. I've had some dreadful catching horses and added uh, quite a few join ups. And if you've got a small paddock, it's a good thing to do in a small paddock. If you can get it done, it's great where they follow you around in the paddock rather than be asked to move away with a bit of gusto. Uh, so, you know, that, that worked quite well there uh, doing that. Oh, what else did I want to say about that? Uh, now, there's this quite might shock a few people. There's been a lot of debate on why horses are following. Uh, and I, I've got my own idea of it. I just think they take the easiest option. It's easier when they give you two eyes to move in towards us or, or face us and then not get pressure. Now it's been proven, there's been studies done and I'm a testament to it because I used, uh, the, the, there was a, a paper I read once saying that uh, some people used a remote control car and I remember years ago reading it saying that they could join up or hook onto a horse in a round pen with a remote controlled car and just switch the car off every time the horse considered the, the car rather than fleeing from it, which is one eye. When the horse looked at it, uh, they switched it off and backed, backed the, the remote control car off and the horses ended up following them around. They did it with quite a few to make sure it wasn't just a fluke. Now I remember 20, 20 odd years ago, I'd got a horse in that was a nightmare to catch. In fact, I put it out in a paddock. I'd worked it, it stayed in a stable and my round school for a bit. And then I thought I'll put it out now. It was gonna be there for quite a long time for starting. And it was a big field, it was a big field. Do you think I could catch it? Even if I got all the others in, all the little things that I thought I was smart about catching a horse, couldn't catch it. It couldn't, and it was quite a bit of grass in there as well. So he didn't care, couldn't catch it. So I got my quad. And I, I gently moved my quad towards it, followed it around this big 10-acre uh, field, followed it around, followed it around, and every time it kind of looked at me, stopped the quad, backed the quad up a bit, or turned the quad off a few times, and it took me about half an hour, and in the end, that horse was following me all over the place, following my quad, even trotting behind me with the quad. And then I got off and slowly changed it to one foot and then got the horse caught and to be honest after that it's got a lot easier to catch so that's what that is i you know it's a horse just taking the easy option it's easier for fudge to look at me and stay with me rather than ignore me give me one eye because ignoring me and going off means it's one eye looking at me so it 
It starts with two eyes, it won't take you two eyes off you, and then you can expand on that and get them following you around. So it's just the horse deciding the easier option is, is that. All right, that's my interpretation of it. And it's very useful. Oh, so we're becoming best buddies now, really. Yeah. <laughs> I'm jealous now. <laughs> <laughs> Every time he, he does something, I think he just put a bit of pressure. Yeah. So the more he, he does it, get cheeky now because he knows he knows I'm not gonna at first he wasn't sure it has to be that way yeah, yeah. and he knows now I'm being a good leader not he wants to be respected but not feared so much yeah, yeah. right so I won't do much more of that that's the start that's the start of, of the join up process mm -hmm. it's worth doing that yeah, yeah. test you in here and I want you to be able to lead him round because I need him to know there's a little bit of you in me, me and you, do you know what I mean? So um, you might have to have a little bit of help but if you come in lead him around when you're ready, look back at them feet, stop. Right, now back him up three paces. Now be effective, you're not being effective, right? I'm going to show you how to be effective. Right, yes, start with that. Then look at them feet. Now, you hold that, right? This is what you're doing. Nothing. So you do that to start, look at the feet, they come up and down, up and down. Now I want you to show me. Start, light, now up. In that, up slower, down. Up slower, down. That's it. Up slower, down. Yeah. Not feeling it. Up. Yes. 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 You with that? You go up your feet and be effective. Because if you're not, you're going to push your feet over. Yeah. Right, go again. Got to be effective. Look at them feet. Take them right round. And then, then stop. Yes. Now look at the feet. Yes. Stop. Stop. Do you know how good you were then? <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. You weren't, all it was, you weren't effective enough. He actually lifted his knees then and went back for you. How did that feel? It is a good feeling. But you've got to practice that. Just put, lay your hand on his forehead. Lay it on his forehead. Yeah, now off you go again. Be a leader to him. He will respect you and have a better life if he respects your space. Lovely. Don't back him up because... He stopped. Did you feel that was good? Yeah. <laughs> then change directions a few times. Yes. his hindquarters, get a hindquarters and then walk out. Get a hindquarters, lift your rein, lift the rein. Now walk out. Go to the side. Yeah, always go to the side if he won't go. Go on. There. You see what I mean? If he won't go forward, go to the side. Now come round here, take the hind quarters and then walk away. Come round here, this side of him. Go on now, come to the hind quarters. Go to the hind quarters, go to them. Yes, now walk away, nicely. Yes, yes. Stop. How did that feel to you? Not good actually. So that's quite a lot of work done um, over the course of a couple of hours now with Fudge. And I felt him starting to, to, to drain a little bit. He can only go so far really. Uh, he hadn't had anything done like this for a long time. So uh, I said we call, call it quits with the training side of it for now. 
Let's just go and see what we've got. So we're about to leave the training place now uh, and see whether he's gonna pull us down to his friends, which he usually does. He'll just lock door, off you go, and just, just run to his friends or run wherever he wants, really. So, you know, I'm feeling quite confident at this stage, but I thought I should take the rope at this stage just to make sure, uh, to make sure there's no accidents while I'm there, really. Um, you know, you don't want any of that, like I say, on your watch, really, as a trainer. So, see what we've got. We're just about to lead him back now down towards the, the residential home and where his friends are, because he's padded with two, two other horses. Now I'm going to try and stop him a couple of times. Yeah. Okay, just down the right here. I don't want him to hold you for that crap. Stop, back him up. Yeah, he went good back. Good boy. Out here, that's very good. He's not dragging me in there, is he? No. Nope. Yeah. Quite good, one foot back. So where should we go where he might? Um, if you go round to the car park. Yeah, round there. Yeah. I'll leave that there a sec. <laughs> Again, it's always on his terms. If you wanted to turn around and go back off, then you would just would. Well, I think that's lessening to you, Michelle. Yes. What he'll try, he'll try and eat these little bushes. Yeah. Yeah, all the, the bushes. You've got there, enough control up. now. And if he does, I might disengage him ten times. Yeah, yeah. Say, so, do you want to eat the bushes or disengage? If you want to eat the bushes, we disengage. He used to go in the doors. He used to go in those doors. Yeah. 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 Give me too many to go in. He is a bit. No? If you take him in, that'd be awesome. He remembers, does he? He remembers. So this is what I did like him to do. Yes. Just come in, which is what you haven't been able to do. They stay open the doors. Back in the uh, in the lobby. That's what his job's supposed to be, and we're back in it. You have no idea how that made me feel. I, I think I got more out of that than anyone else. Just the fact that we're back in there, and I was feeling so positive. And there's a little bit more to go on the video yet, only a little bit. But that point there, I thought, wow, that was really worth me coming. 
and I think um, I've got enough enough of a, a change there that if Michelle needs to get another trainer now, I'm sure they'll be able to help her. Maybe some of the trainers wouldn't quite be able to get that done because I've done so much of that kind of work and I just feel like it was so good that I went to, to do this work and uh, and, and get, a, get a meaningful change to move on from. The seeds, seeds hopefully is there now, but we'll get on and finish the video now. to see all the residents again. Boy, you know what, now, if I can lead him with quality now up there, put him away, it's the best note to leave him on. Yeah. And then you wait for your video and have a good video and that, yeah, and that yeah, all that yeah. went. Oh, he's been a good Are you happy, are you happy yeah, with what I've done for you? Really happy. Oh, good. Really happy. Your little pony was in the... Uh, Boy, again. Through the doors. Then they'd be able to come and fuss on him now. Yeah. We booked in, we booked into the Holiday Inn, I don't know where that oh, was. Did you? Yeah, because I, oh, I don't know what, I think we're going to, it's a bit further on because there's the two jobs tomorrow, I think. Oh, okay. Oh, a dove, white dove. Stop, back up, don't Right, there you can. Do you want to try there? Yeah. Tell me where you want to try. Can I just try to Yeah. 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 We'll follow you. Yeah. It's not going to want to a little bit. That's why I've done it. So you can kind of. Try and have focus there. Yeah. So that you go. So we can see you going somewhere, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And then, so when you look at his feet, you think it's going to stop with looking free, you just use that for when you... A bit, a little bit shorter. A little bit shorter. Yeah, that's it. How's that feel? Yeah. 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 I just feel like the... Better than it was? Yeah, he's never done that before. <laughs> <laughs> I'll open this then for you. Yeah, yeah, thank you. So, that's, that's pretty much what I did with Michelle. Buenos and, dias! And, uh, Buenos dias! <laughs> What's that? You're the kids no, thing. kid's unicorn. Uh, so, so, yeah, we're on our way back to the hotel. Uh, at that point, and then what does Tanya notice? Uh, a shop, her favourite shop. Yeah, yeah, we are fans of uh, of Abriot. We do like Abriot. Uh, no, they don't sponsor me, unfortunately. Uh, do you think they should? I think they should. By now, got loads of people. You know, say, oh, we like the Ariat. We bought Ariats because you're wearing them. Uh, and Tanya's an absolute Ariat fan. So maybe they will one day, who knows. But uh, yeah, I'm on the way back to the hotel. Pretty pretty tired, to be honest, uh, and hungry. And what does she see? What does she see? Have a look at this. Hotel. What's up? Ariat shop. Ariat? Oh. Two minutes. Go on then, be quick. Reverse then. Okay, go on then. Yeah, what have you bought? Well, we did have Ronnie and Reggie, but... I only bought a couple Come on, Ronnie. Oh, and... God. Oops. Thank you. So what am I winning today? I'll be gone. <laughs> okay, so show me what you bought, what you spent all your money on. Well, I like those. Yeah. And I thought they'd be handy just for little low jeans. Yeah. And then I thought those would be nice for going out. Oh, those are quite nice ones. I like those. So on a beach. Ah. God, you spoiled, Tanya. Thank you, love you. <laughs> uh, that's the end now of this um, experience video with Fudge and Michelle. Uh, as I said, it is quite a, it's a great, 
I love this video. I really love this video. And uh, we have had a message back. I, I feel quite confident that Michelle will move forward now. I've been there, even if Michelle gets help from a local trainer or someone to help her, because I'm 300 mile away, so I can't uh, go, go out as often as I would need to, to make big changes. Uh, so um, we have had a message back, Tanya, you said? We have. Yeah, okay, I'll let Tanya read that. Because we did, we asked her, you know, as she managed to do it, and she said, hi, she, uh, uh, yeah. OMG, yes, Saturday, I know you said to wait till I got the video, but I walked him up to the pen, he was at an angle, he backed up, I managed to get him to join up with me in the pen as well, so once he joined up with me, I left it on that note and let him go back to his field. Thank you so much. You are truly amazing. Woo! Woo! <laughs> uh, horse training's easy. You just got to know what to do. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, you wanted me oh, to Oh yeah, she, and Michelle was lovely, wasn't she? She really and, you was know, lovely. And it's a lovely little video and there's so many uh, videos uh, and messages we get about little yeah. ponies that run yeah. away with you. So guys, yeah. if you like this video, please like and if you share it if you know any it's going to do anybody any good saves you know, me to watch saying it. it this time doesn't oh it? yeah please guys we love it when you share <laughs> uh, and uh, the flag that i use the boing in sticks all our equipment uh, long lines everything all virtually mostly made by tanya and i'm still Shopping sending fine. out a free halter free proper um quite quite good quality uh, head um halter halter uh, natural horsemanship halter. You get one so free with every order. Every order. I'll okay. get Je I'll, I'll get James to put the link. Yeah. Yeah. So that's it, guys. We're off again. See you as soon as we can. Bye. Ciao for now. Happy trails.